Hey everybody, so uh, in these videos I'm going to show you how to build a Shopify store for a hair salon. Uh, I'm going to be making videos showing you each step of the way and we're going to be building a store for a salon that is already in business. They have their website. This is their website. The salon's called Femicoy. Um, and they have a typical website for a salon. They've got, they also do weddings, so they have portfolio of their work and pricing and everything you'd expect from a typical salon website you know all the information that people are going to need as well as appointments um, of course if you know salons they they need online booking and we're going to build the Shopify store and set it up and we'll probably end up setting it up as something like shop.femicoy.com and then we'll update their menu to go to the store and that will just be a real seamless solution for adding a store to their current website without causing a headache with uh, anything else. <clears throat> so first thing you're going to want to do is go to Shopify.com and sign up for the free trial. Uh, they give you a 14-day free trial. No credit card is necessary, so you got two weeks to basically set up your store and decide if you want to move forward before you have to spend any money. Um, we're, we've already decided we're going to, uh, so the, the Shopify basic plan is $29 a month, which is uh, super affordable and it's just a great solution. It takes kind of that all the headache out of running a store. So uh, I'm not going to walk through the um, setup, like the, the sign up process, because it's just, you know, name, email, type in your store name. There's a couple of questions about your business, but it doesn't really matter how you answer them. You know, you just uh, sometimes they ask you, are you selling online already? Uh, they ask you what type of revenue you're, you have for your store. Um, but once you walk through that setup, it'll set up a, a default store for you and it will place you in the Shopify admin panel, which looks like this. So this is what I set up for Femicoy and it's everything you'd kind of expect, you know, orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discount apps. Um, for the store, this is the back end and also if uh, they set up a front end of the store by default as well after you complete the sign up process, which you can see by clicking on this eye image of an eye right here. So I'll just click that and open a new tab here. And this is uh, the default store that they set up. <clears throat> Looks like this and basically just our job is to uh, fill in the blanks here. Um, I'll go back to the admin here because um, one of the first things you do after you set up your store is you work on the theme. So in Shopify, uh, the stores have Shopify themes, which basically control the look and feel and certain functionality of the store. And the way you get to the theme is you just click on online store here. <clears throat> and that takes you to your themes. And the default theme you can see is debut. That's our current theme which is this theme, which is a perfectly fine theme. Uh, I've used it for other basic sites and uh, it works great. Now the options that you have for Shopify themes is uh, free themes, which you can see here. You can click here and it'll show you. Uh, I'll just show you free themes here. So there's what not nine of them um, for different kind of layouts and styles depending on what you're going for and those are all built by Shopify and they work great you know you, you can use those you, you usually don't find a lot of bugs or anything with them because they've been tested tried and true and then there's the Shopify theme store which I'll click on that that will open the store and you can search for other themes here the free themes are also in the store as well so you can grab them there but there's other other themes that are um, a little nicer maybe they have a little more features a little more options generally they run anywhere from I think 130 to about 180 is the the top price <clears throat> and they are 
they're not built by Shopify. They're built by third-party um, companies. I'll click on this. And you can see this theme is designed and supported by WeTheme, which is a, a company that builds themes. But they are kind of vetted because they're in Shopify's store. So you, you, know, you can trust these. Uh, pretty well without worrying too much about them. But if you go, if you need support, you got to go to this company to get support, as you can see here. Um, and these are pretty good. I've used a um, couple, couple out of there as well, and they're fine. Uh, the other option you have for Shopify themes is going to a third-party website like Theme Forest and purchasing a Shopify theme from there. Where they can also run anywhere from fifteen dollars to four or five hundred dollars, and there's some other third-party theme uh, companies that build their own Shopify themes. So there's kind of a lot of options, <clears throat> but I just wanted to explain that to you. For this project, we're going to use a free theme, keep it real simple and inexpensive. Um, so I want to show you that, but we're not going to use the debut theme which is the default one. So we're going to have to switch to a free one, which is super easy to do, another free one. Uh, so I'll click on Explore Themes. I want to use this simple theme for our salon. Uh, I'll click on that, mainly because uh, I want the sidebar menu, which the simple one um, offers. And we're, the salon is pretty much, you know, they're just selling like hair care products, uh, skin care products. Uh, some jewelry and some other small items so it's we don't need anything too complicated right now so this theme will be perfect uh, so you just click add to theme library and you'll see Shopify starts to add it into you know this is your theme library you can add a bunch of themes in here that you want to save or use in the future and it only takes a second here All right, so that's added. And so our current theme is still debut. So what we want to do is click on actions here and click publish, and that will switch out debut for simple. So we'll click publish. Are you sure you want to publish simple? Yes, publish. And then it just switched it. So now simple is our current theme. Debut is in our theme library in case we want to switch back. And if I go to the front end of the site and click refresh, You'll see it goes from debut to now it's the simple theme. So nice new look, looks pretty good. Um, something about, I'll just explain this here. The online store is password protected. Uh, every Shopify site, when you first create it, Shopify automatically uh, protects it with a password. Basically there's a coming soon page. And if you wanna see the store, you can type in the password. I'll show you that page right now with a I can go to an incognito browser because it shows me um, actually let me close it it shows me this front-end site because I'm already logged into the admin panel um, but uh, also another thing is Shopify gives you a URL when you create the store so it's your store name dot my so I'm just gonna copy that and then we'll open the uh, incognito window paste that in there and go. So this is what um, someone that's not an admin would see if they went to that that URL. They see this opening soon, and it's kind of nice because people can add their email address, so you can notify them when you launch. So it's kind of nice to be able to promote this page while you're building your store. And then here's the enter using password. But we don't really need to worry about that because we're logged in as admin, so we can see the front end of the site. Also, this URL is is nice when you're building your store but at the end of this we're going to use our own domain name so that we don't really need this url we're going to use the shop.femacoy.com <clears throat> um, but that's switching the theme and then we'll just go into you know the next thing you want to do is customize the theme a little bit so we just click customize and that'll open up this window which is the shopify theme editor and you can see this is like the display and here are the sections of the page and some settings colors typography uh, pretty straightforward stuff uh, the header is like your icon your uh, logo the sidebar is this menu and then this section featured collection 
these are all just kind of added in there right now rich text is just this copy here and then you can add a section so I'll click add a section and then it gives you these options so there's not too many here you know blog post collection list feature collection we already have banner uh, image with text you know you can add a photo with your product and just describe it slideshow uh, here I'll show you collection list <clears throat> we haven't made our collections yet so we'll get to all this in a little bit I just want to show you kind of how it works so you just add those sections in there footer is the only thing in the footer right now is this menu with a search bar but we'll just go to the header and that's where our logo is so I'll just uh, upload a logo here uh, oh, let's see if I can find it there we go and we'll use that maybe make that a little bit bigger that'll do it and there's a couple other settings that we don't you know really need to worry about but that's kind of how you edit your theme we're gonna we're gonna set up some collections and add some products that will you know make more sense when we build this out so for now we'll just add the logo and I think that's all we need to do we'll save uh, save the changes we made by clicking over there and then to get back to the admin you just click this Shopify bag and it takes you back to the admin and go to the front facing site and click refresh here and cool logos there looking pretty good so far all right and that's just uh, what we'll do for the themes the next uh, video we'll do we'll add some collections and and some products and get the uh, menu set up